I've been losing all day. All day I've been losing. And you know what? That's okay sometimes. Like, when I build lists that don't get there, I expect 30 to 40% win rate. I think we're sub 10 for a five and a half hour stream. So we're net decking one of the best lists in Historic right now. And I love playing all variants of this Selesnia Collected Company. If you don't know this card, welcome to Historic. Let's look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two creature cards with mana value three or less onto the battlefield and the rest go onto the bottom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We play a bunch of cheap nerds and then flood at instant speed. It feels great. Uh, so let's take a peek at what is here. We got Love Struck Beasts and Llanowar Elves as our one droppy pals. We also have Luminarch Aspirant and Scavenging Ooze as a pair of very, very strong two mana creatures. But we have some interesting choices in the three drop slot. What's not surprising? Elite Spellbinder, Skyclave Apparition, just strong cards to help us continue to smash forward. We even have Aronus the Indomitable as another way to get out a five power creature, which by the way makes our great henges cost oh so little. But I love Archon of Ameria. Flying, each player can cast more than one spell each turn. Non-basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Slows stuff down. In the side, we have giant killers for various creature matchups. Rest in peace for various graveyard-based matchups. Uh, Baffling End for aggro. Knight of Autumn and Shifting Ceratops for matchups that make us feel like we're quite an intellectual. And I'm sure we can analyze the sideboard even more. But I've been losing all day. I'm so sick of losing that I'm going straight into the game. And if you want a better explanation than that, turn off the channel. You're not going to get it here anymore. I'm out of water. I'm disgusted. I'm going to go get some. Is this... is this it? We're up against Resonance Quake. Shocking it in, playing a land war Elfie. Resonance Quake. Resonance Quake. Resonance Quake. Oh, of course, it's a Lightning Helix. Why wouldn't it be a Lightning Helix? Today has been so hard. It's been so difficult for me. <sighs> People require new bets, sir. All right, Crample. All right, Crample, you got it. Start prediction. Will Dana win this best of three? Prediction is live. All right, let's 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 just kick it off by asking Residence Quake to show me what you got. Archon of Ameria could also be nice, but I'm not going to do it. Just going to take a peek. Just going to take a peek. We still get to see what is up, what is up. We still get to see. Saw it coming, Wrath of God. Okay. Wrath of God, get on out of there. No more mana from Resonance Quake. Search for his Kanta. Perfect. Um, I think I'm going to do this. And here's my reasoning. Most of Resonant Qu Resonance Quake's lands are going to enter tapped. And I want to slow this puppy down. So now I'm comfortable playing this and removing this. If this gets countered, that's fine. All right, let's go, my bud. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Great. 
Dang. <clears throat> so now we actually have some sweeper resistance. Oh, look at that thing entering tapped. Oh, I oh, love to see that. That all oh, feels so good. All right. It almost happened too fast. It, it actually started me because I forgot that I can only play one a turn two. Do I play one a turn? Great, I can just cocoa it right away. Archon of Ameria, Archon of Ameria. Enter into play, double tapped. Alright. This is nice, man. This is nice. Archon is back. Exiling all sorts of stuff in the grave. Perfect. Does it enter play tapped? Oh, it sure does. Kazandu, man. Who'd have thought? Great. So. So we just keep piling things on, and this is great. Velamachus, hell yeah. What do you cast for free, friend? Ooh, it's an Azorius control with some Velamachus. Yeah, all right. Uh, we definitely have to wait on this stuff. I'm gonna play these nerds. <laughs> that was good. Velomachus just like came out and killed himself. It was incredible. Let me just. I'm gonna eat this guy. Nom 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 nom. Velomachus lore hold. Hell yeah. Bring it on. And it's a uh, time warp. Nice. All right. Yeah, Velomachus time warps. I've seen a lot of this. Smari Command. Very good card. Love to see it. Yeah, deal two damage. Draw two, discard two. Okay. And then maybe hard cast time more. Maybe a little bit too weak. Maybe we shouldn't have collected company at all on that turn to get the Archons back. Well, we we are we are as dead as a dead person can get. All right. What would we want? I think Thalia's, Rydane's, Shifting Ceratops all seem good. I think that these Skyclave apparitions are probably not as potent. Peel out the scavenging oozes. All right. All right, keep the same amount of two drops as before. 
Bezos says, come on, Sean. I have a whole 7K channel points riding on Selesnya Glory. I'm trying my hardest. If we don't win this, I'm just going to be like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. Ride Dane, Snowlands, Enter the Battlefield tapped, non creature spells. Cost two more. Yes, 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 yes. Or is this better? I think the Ride Dane's probably better. Now, it could be Land Lightning Helix, in which case I would just like Coco at end of turn. Lightning Helix is ridiculous. So I'm just gonna do it right now, dude. A lot of counter spells in there. Let's do Thalia. Ugh. Gross. I mean, this is this is pretty bad collecting company outcomes. Thalia is nice because it non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Very nice. But it means that if there's a Lightning Helix. You just lightning he looks straight up. So I think that if I do this and then this, so now it's out of lightning helix range. It's very desirable. Chaz Tat says I just hit Mythic with his deck. The Thali is so good in this matchup. I mean, I feel like it should be. Enquayable. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm just going to keep making this one huge, because I, I believe it to be already unkillable without a Wrath effect. And so hopefully Villain Wraths, and then I just collected company at end of turn, and then that's that. Okay. Don't get too excited, believers. I still think the haters have it. I think this is okay. I almost try to want to, or want to try to run an Elder Gargaroth, because it's such a good solo threat. Bang. Boom. It's gonna be Lightning Helix. Bang. Lightning Helix is freaking ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous, I'm telling you, man. Okay, so I don't think that there is a single two-mana thing that I need to worry about when casting Elite Spellbinder. Except for Essence Scatter, but I just don't think that this deck would run Essence Scatter if it has Lightning Helixes. Good. Great, so I get I get rid of this one. So now Villain can do no things. Under Torture Defiance is fine. End of turn, Collected Company. Yep. Oh, wow. Wow, I thought Villain would plus uh, with, the, with the two. Plus this two out. Alright, so these, these friendies. Figured out my place. Alright. Figuring things out little by little. Oh, I love to see this. Oof. Mmm, yes. Elite Spellbinder. 
control another creature with four or greater power. Or another Archon of Ameria. You have a huge one. Excellent. There it is. Yes! Oh my god, we... Are we gonna do it? <laughs> I just... Oh my god. Oh, please. Oh, shit. Alright. It might have been correct just to have collected company there. I think maybe I just made a mistake doing that. I, I did want that shuffle back in to be clear. Okay, good. Three collected companies is all it takes. Just three. Just three collected companies. It's like not an issue. Oh. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Let everyone get tucked first to guarantee better Coco. No, I want there to. I want that specifically not to be there when I do that because I I did not want to draw it. My man, it's a fairy. It's already exiled, unfortunately. All right. My God, we've done it. Choose prediction outcome. Yeah, we we did it. Start a prediction. Start a prediction. Will Dana win this best of three? Yeah or nah? Here it comes. Mmm. That's right, haters. I don't have a 100% loss rate today. Mmm, that's right. Gosh, I can't believe anyone would ever trust me. Why would anyone watch this content? Because we always get there. But yeah, no, when my opponent was tucking Ronus, I wanted to cast Collect Company beforehand, so that way I just don't get Ronus again. Because Ronus can only attack if I have a large creature. Nice. Very excellent. Just put back the Skyclave since I literally cannot cast it. Zandu man. I'd rather do this and just get the damage out early. Oh, didn't baffling in my Coco. Oh, I think you're going to regret that. You know, I'm actually going to play double Luminarch Aspirant because I don't see a good way for Villain to deal with this without a Wrath effect, especially it with white-blue. So I have the Collected Company in response that I can do stuff with. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Elected company, here we go. <gasps> I passed through it! No! Shit! You guys, I literally set myself up for success, and then I failed. We're not uploading anything today. I, I, I set it all up. And we make you a mistake. -y. I know what must go time for a break. We can 
things are hard sometimes. <sighs> you know what I think the problem is? I think it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Making mistakes. We make mistakes all the time. Any magic player makes mistakes all the time. That's why it's a fun game. Keep up the pace. But it's when you're making mistakes after you have just had the shittiest luck all morning. Feels terrible. Goodbye, my beast. Is that a main decked graft digger's cage? Let's take a peek into here. What's in it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Woo! All right. Thankfully, it doesn't beat Coco. What do you mean? Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Look at the top six. Put two into there. It just totally, it totally decimates it. Um. Knight of Autumn, Shifting Ceratops, Riding. Don't need the oozes. Probably don't need these Skyclave apparitions. Probably need the Thalias. Ronus. Ronus I'm removing because if my opponent just picks off the other creatures, I'm mega dead. Skyclave does kill Cage, though. I'm trying to think if it's still worth it. I think, I think I'd rather have fewer Skyclaves. Like, not four. Because I just don't deal a lot of damage. But I replaced them with the Knight of Autumn, so I basically went down to two. What messes with me? Aether Gust, huh? Well, let's just let's just smash some stuff down here, huh? It's not a single basic. Okay, so Archon of Ameria means that all the lands will be coming into play tapped for a wee bit, huh? Eh, you cycle. So now there has to be a Plains. Otherwise, all the land enters tapped, and we just win. Alright, I'm, I'm rooting for me. Rooting for me quite hard. Good. Hello Fountain is the planes though. No no no, like like it needs to be a basic. Uh this looks good. I'm keeping it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, culture. Dracon, yeah, yeah. It 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 makes non basics enter tapped. It's trying hard to counter that. I'm not allowed to do it. Can't believe we might actually win. Will we? I don't think so, but we might. Just might. 
I'm keeping this. This is, this is bold keep. Okay. So I can go green, play this, play this, and we're fine. Huh? So this is a Doom Scar. It's gotta be. I mean, this is putting my shit like face up, dude. Company. Finally warming to Lana or else? No, I hate Lana or else. I really don't like this card. It's obviously a very, very good card. I'm not trying to critique its general power levels. I'm just saying I don't like it. I just don't like how it plays. I don't like how it feels. I don't like what's up. I don't like its deals. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're actually going to smash down Elder Gargle Pal. Elder Gargle Pal. What? Really? But then I... But then I kill all your stuff. Why would you do that? I'm just gonna do this because villain's just bound to... Great. Alright, so this is another Doom Scar. This has to be Doom Scar. It's like the only card that villain runs that deals with this. And then after everything is out. Ugh shit, a second Doom Scar is really bad for us. I suppose it could be a sod coming, huh? Top? Ugh. I'm really scared to run out of Elder Gargaroth. But it looks like it is two Doom Scars. Ah. Uh. Go! Yeah, I, I don't know how we get around this. Yeah. No? Timely reinforcements. Okay. I don't think that we're going to get there, but maybe, just maybe, we can get the Great Hange down. of us winning here is close to zero. Uh, 
A shark typhoon. Ugh. Excellent. A shark typhoon. Yeah. Ah, oh, Narset, gross. All right, skipping on past. Skipping on up. Ooh, chance that's his probability has been wrong most of the day though, Sean. That's right. Oh my god, minus to nothing? Hmm. And then as Kanta is flipped? Goodness. Goodness. What am I even hoping for? Like a Ceratops or some shit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. BAM! Aw, <laughs> oh, crap! He's gonna counter it! He's just gonna find the counter! Baffling end! Yeah! Turn sideways! Woo! What a rush! No counter spells. We need no counter spells. A shark typhoon. Goodness. Goodness gracious, Glorioski, me oh my. We may very well die. Alright, ow, ow, ow. I happen to run some creatures. Excellent. Oh. Hurts. I was hoping that maybe we could, like, get something, like a good peek at the hand. We did not win. It was devastating to us. We will never be the same. Choose outcome? Nah. Alright, choose prediction outcome. Start outcome. New prediction started. We're going in. It's Coco time, baby. It's Coco time. I am sad now. Me too, Chaz. Me too. Historic Historic has been cruel to us. I don't even know what we're doing tomorrow. Maybe we'll just play some real basic decks. I, I, I don't have a plan. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and figure out what's up. This is it. We can't lose. We're against Mr. Pinkham Third. Uh, by the way, Villain is running a, um, this is a, uh, Nukia with a bunch of 1-1s. One -one, sort of like little ping and a death. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh, oh, it's a Guildgate deck. Oh, this guy is fucked. Here we go. What's up in here, man? Gates ablaze? Not a chance. Mails from Pulse? Not a problem. Bye. Gates ablaze. Yeah, the mammoth must come down. Alright, so this is gonna... Wait, what? Why would this be the way that you tap? Oh my god, fuck. What is this game doing to me sometimes? Why? It is so cruel, man. Coming in. You only have one white source. Exactly. It's just like, I don't want to do this, this would take health. I don't want to do this because it's a unit. <sighs> Why would my health be relevant? This is a sorcery speed. Mails from Pulse, good card. Attack, attack. I gotta do some Jund nonsense, man. Jund, so I can run, like... Three Inquisition of Kozilek, three Thought Seas. That's, that's how I'm going to do it, man. Why don't you do your Gates stuff, Mr. Pink Panther? These are the 
ones. Bing bong. I will I will coco twice. Not this way. Yeah, maybe we'll just play Age of Empires 2 tomorrow. That seems pretty fun. Woo. Woo, Maelstrom Pulse. It's like a really like, cool and sick intimidating play on your part. Two attackers. Two end step. Alright. Let's take a peek. Show me what you got. Get out of here. Can't do nothing to me. Pretty tough. I'm a pretty tough person. Luminarch. Asper Ant. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right. All right. So I think we want delay, delay, delay. I don't think shifting Ceratops is necessarily good. Knight of Autumn, I actually think, is going to be pretty nice. Um, We'll see what he does. Vishnarg says, would you say AOE 2 is a good way to get into RTS? Vishnarg, the best way to get into RTS is to play, is to get StarCraft 2. It's free. Play the campaign, get used to it a little bit, and then check out um, Co-op Commander. It, it is like literally the worst name for any product in the history of products. I'm keeping this. This hand's actually really good. Um... So, so co-op commander. Like, let me let me give you the pitch. If if you read that something was called co-op commander, think about how you would think about that. Think about your thinking. Okay. To me, co-op commander sounds like someone meant to say like, oh, like play in a two v two or a three v three. Like that's co-op to me. And there's this weird commander word that like, okay, I just zoom in on co-op and think it's like a team game or something like this. Oh my god, I left in these, I feel unbelievable. Yo. Shoot. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to keep playing the Spellbinders. I'm just going to get out. Jeez Louise. So, so here's how Commander works. In StarCraft, you pick one of a few factions. Like Zerg, Terran, Protoss. And you get access to all those. In Commander, you pick some sort of unique miniature faction. feel nearly dead. I'm going to go ahead and concede. You choose a mini faction that has some mix of variants on the basic units, as well as units that are not in multiplayer at all. Um, the units that are not in multiplayer at all. You also get unique, awesome, cool abilities associated with your commander. So, for instance, you know Zerg as the, you know, Zergling Hydra, you know, just like overwhelm insectoid race. Well, I, I like to play a commander called Stukov. And Stukov, his, um, he is the infested Terran race. So, he has 
his his unique commander ability is he can he has an infested uh, civilian compound that every ninety seconds or so or sixty seconds it just produces like sixty infested Terrans that just march out. And like the siege tank in um, for Stukov is not a regular siege tank. Instead, what it what it does when it attaches to the ground, it can load up into itself nearby infested uh, Terrans and shoot them at the enemy. And like his creep spreads automatically. Maelstrom pulse. We get that one out of there. Say no to removal. Nope. Nope. We're not doing this. Oh my god. You know, you, I, you also get, like, unique, cool, global abilities. So, you know, like... Um... Let's actually see what we want to do here. I don't think... Well, maybe Gates of Blaze is coming. So you choose your commander that has some mix of amped up, expanded, interesting, cool versions of the units from the regular StarCraft. But then also you get these unique commander abilities and these unique factional mechanics and stuff. And you play through a set of missions with difficulty settings and variation settings. You know kind of how you'd play, like, Left for Dead? And when you get to the, um... You can go through the same mission again and again and again, and it's, like, different every time. But there's still kind of a theme to it. This is how the Commander missions work. So, in Commander, you're basically trying to find out Uh, you know, what is the best combination of stuff to... This cat is killing me. This... and riding. Yeah, and as you win, um, levels... And beat missions, you can increase the difficulty and you have, like, experience. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, great. I can count, I can count. We did it. So it's, it's like really, really fun, because, you know, I'll, I'll just fire up some commander with a friend, choose prediction outcome, yeah, boom. I'll just choose some, uh, you know, fire up some commander, play with a buddy. We'll play it on, like, normal difficulty, it's pretty straightforward. You just win, essentially, 100% of the time. Sometimes you get ambitious, crank up the difficulty a little bit. I don't even play on Brutal, man. It's like a Brutal plus six. I don't play on that shit, man. Now when I'm playing Commander, man, I just relax. <laughs> so, so I would strongly recommend that to you. Um, are we going to start up another prediction? Start a prediction. Then I won this best three. Yeah. Wow! Hey! Sheriff! Come here! Oh, dude. Sheriff's just been going insane. She's just been going insane. Shinyang Marissa's plus six is so masochistic, you have to be a real tryhard to try it. Yeah, man. Gross. I don't want to do none of that. Alright, so let's, let's, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek at what is going on in here. Chandra, we have some Rhydanes, we have some Chandras. Similar to me. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, look, what I haven't done anything with pests yet. It doesn't it doesn't seem very strong. Okay. Okay, so we do this guy. Here he is. Let's get all the guys out. So, Villain's List is actually really similar to our list. Just runs red for the... Probably a good red removal spell. This one's also quite a good card. I think this is a very safe attack. That's just that's just an incorrect decision. That's great. Okay, great, perfect. Perfect. Uh, so this will kill this. This one won't die. And there you go. It's really good. And now this allows me to, to cast Collected Company. Not this turn, but uh, it's not eight mana anymore. I can't stand my cat right now. Oh, that's nasty. I gotta, I gotta get the spray bottle. That's what I'm gonna get this week. I'm gonna get a spray bottle so I can just spray the cat. Isn't that sad? It's that devastating. I'm gonna have to punish the cat. No other choice. What can you do? Our, our health is actually quite extremely relevant right now. Wait till end of turn and just Coco. It is me decided to do that too. Mine was waking me up at like six every morning. Dude, my cat's been meowing at like three in the morning. My oh my day. god, it's ridiculous. There we go. There we go. Hi. You can see my cat. There she is. Uh. <laughs> um. This one out of here. Guess you don't need me anymore. Dude, I got a cat sneezing, I got a cat meowing. It's torture out here, man. <sighs> oh, and then which one are you gonna get? Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine. Ready for a boring game, huh? We're getting to the point where we can actually just hard cast for nine mana. All right, we're we're hanging out, man. We're having a nice time, just passing turns.
Well, well, well. I guess we say no blocks to this, and uh, I'm not even sure what we want. Hmm. Oof. Oh. We have a lot of things in here. Okay. Villain is going to have to do like a big swing, huh? Nope. <laughs> uh, all right. We want the baffling ends. Elder Gargaroth is very good. Archon of Ameria is not going to do it, huh? Probably these giant killers seem pretty good. Ronus? No, get the hell out of here, man. Actually, maybe we would like a Ronus, because it's a death touch and destructible guy. Seems about right. We're only on the offense. Hey, have a good day, Ardway. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Have a great life. Against World One Live. Here it is. This is it. Will the believers get the points they so deserve? Or have the haters overtaken? Any plans for more Eternal, man? McIntyre, I don't have any plans for anything at all. That's what I gotta figure out next morning, man. I, I have a strong and sneaking suspicion that I will, in fact, be playing some good old-fashioned Age of Empires 2 on Wednesday. As I say that out loud, that does sound pretty damn fun. I've been planning out my shows a month in advance, and then I just had a bunch of cancelled stuff. Oh! Bring it on, World One Live. Have you seen anything with AoE 4? Just, just a teaser, Leprechaun. Hey, by the way, thanks for the 10 gifts yesterday, Leprechaun. You're always sneaking in, gifting 10 right in the middle of mostly walking. Can't believe you've done this. Oh my god. Holy crap. It's a lot it's just a lot of glory bringers, man. That's just like more glory than I'm comfortable with. I don't I don't know if there's a way out of just getting bonked by a bunch of glory bringers. Well, you slow down that aspect, but but the problem is that when World One Live begins to swing at me, you can exert the Glory Bringer to just pick off the Elite Spellbinder. So I'm gonna need to start beating with the Love Struck Beast, huh? So 
we can just start smashing in. I don't think Bone Crusher's gonna block. Let me just bring out the... Yeah, I, I, I still think it's really hard to lose in this situation, because these Glory Bringers from World 1 Live are 7, even though the Elite Spellbinders are dead. Yeah, I mean, you're in a situation where you kind of have to... Okay, that's, that's a cute play. Do this for the draw. I mean, like, even though there's a glory bringer coming up, I mean, this is this is a pretty substantial amount of pressure. So there is one love struck beast, that's the only way I can make stuff. I mean really the, the, the effective maneuver is just gonna be to spam out a ton of creatures and just keep winning with that. This. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this seems really hard to lose. I mean, the Grey Henge is just so insane. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, do you exert this? It doesn't seem like the best idea to. Alright, so let's tap this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, that's way more damage than I realized. That's a it's a big whoopsie daisies for me. Looks good to me. LGTM. I think I do keep this, because Ronas is an incredible activator for the Great Hench. Should we get there? Mm hmm Another Luminarch Aspirant is okay. Bang. 
You know, I I'm gonna take a peek at the hand. What? Oh my god, look at this guy. Alright, several wreckage, get out of here. So this this is actually like not a This is not a bad situation at all for us. There's a lot of things that deal damage to themselves, sort of spells. It's fine. Oh man, I remember when everyone was playing around Saddle the Wreckage. Ooh, it was so good! And the way it goes. So I think we win this in the long run, huh? Ooh, Justice Strike. I'm gonna want to eat that one. Let's just play this guy. It's totally an end of turn Justice Strike. Land one time. Kinda worked. I just want the damage to get reduced. So this this buys me an extra turn. Because if Shatter Skull Smashing goes down to pick off that guy. That's fine. And I have this incredible Gargle Pal. This is so good. So now World 1 Live can't really afford to... Um, oh my god, just a strike off the top. Come on! Gonna do this. So what, 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 what one of two things is gonna happen? Um, oh wait, what am I doing, man? I'm playing straight into Shatter Skull Smashing. My mind is melted. Like, dude, he's just gonna shatter my two, my two twos. Hmm. Well, whatever. Hopefully, the Believers can pull through on this one. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I should have buffed this one. Man, the number of mistakes we are making today. Oh, yeah. Let's 
seems pretty good. Okay, so I can use the Ronas to give this plus two plus oh and nuke it with the giant killer. But I'm gonna wait a sec. I think I'm happy to take ten damage. I mean, the Shatter Skull smashing is probably going to be it. Goodness, it cannot be. Is it? Is it? Is it she who meows at the door? Is it? Is it Sheriff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait until end of turn, because I'd rather get various blockers out of the way. Become gigantic. Boom. Value. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna gobble that one up in the graveyard. It's gonna just taste delicious. Ooh. Hi, Sheer Bear. That's seven. We're coming in. Just so huge. Excellent. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Why not? Okay. All right. So we can tap down things. All right, Sheriff's having a snack. She's quiet again. Oh, all right, well. Oh, okay, great. So I just buff this a little and then swing in with Ronus, huh? Too good. Is it? This is the good stuff. This is gonna swing in. This is gonna vigilance me. Maybe these two fellas get popped. That's okay. Thonk. Sandu Mammoth. And do I want a scavenging ooze? No, I'll take a love struck. Why didn't we tap his creature before he attacked? Because if my opponent does attack, I want to be able to give spend my mana giving something plus two, plus two. Uh, so that way I can block. And we want to try to account for uh, the ability to still have Coco at the end of the turn in case of that. I just wanted to leave my options open instead of tapping something down. For health, it doesn't really matter. Now, now I'm happy to tap stuff down. So let's tap down the thing that has the most amount of health. Fine. 
nice. Oh my god, believers rejoice, we have done it. Woo!